Inflation sure has come for car prices. The average price of a new car reaching a record of more than 45,000 bucks, according to J.D. Power. Chump change compared to what senior autos reporter Praz Zubermanian has for us today. Praz, what do you got? Hey, man, how you doing? So I'm here in Connecticut. In Autom Automobili Pininfarina is the automobile from Italy, and they have a hypercar, EV hypercar, $2 million car. Joining me now is CEO, Per Savanson. Per, tell us about this car and why are you in the United States right now? We are here to show our first production ready car. Actually, it's a customer car. It's a sold car that we are now letting journalists, potential customers and partners test drive. So we have been in the U.S. now for quite some time with, with this car. Started in August out in Pebble Beach and then we have kind of toured around the U.S. So we're talking about a $2 million car, almost 2,000 horsepower. What are U.S. Uh, kind of consumers telling you about that? What, what, are they, what is the clientele saying about this car? I have to say we are overwhelmed with the positive response we have had. Uh, it, it's really fantastic. I mean, the car you, you can, as, as I usually say, you can enjoy it with all the senses. It's beautiful to look at. It's really an experience to drive. Um, the kind of powertrain we have can do what no other cars really can do. Because you, when you have four motors, one on each wheel, completely independent of each other, controlled by a torque vectoring system, distributing the power, every millisecond recalculating the distribution so when you when you go through the winding roads of of uh, greenwich where we are right now or anywhere uh, it, it's a sensation so you're working with a bunch of partners here to make this car like remac yeah. uh, you're owned by mahindra which is a huge indian um, mobility and, and automotive company how does it help you kind of make this car with regards to sort of things like part shortages and things like that we, we have been affected like everybody else. First the pandemic, then the shortages of components, and now the war in Ukraine, it doesn't help. But we, we have found our way through that. And yes, uh, our parent company Mahindra has supported us in finding what we, what we need. So we were delayed a bit, but now we are there. You know, I'm excited to hear what's next for you guys. I know you guys are going to go after maybe the luxury premium market a little bit down below on the EV scale. So anyway, Pierre, thanks so much for joining us. And we got to go back to the studio.